Right, so I'll move on to the, uh, the dessert, which is the chocolate truffle. Okay. Now for this, I've got a pan of water going, Gordon, I'm going to do a, a bammery with the, to melt the chocolate. So I've got some pan of water boiling, and I'm just going to pop the chocolate on to melt. I've got nice dark chocolate, good quality chocolate. Yeah, they're not just your Cadbury's buttons, are they? No. What do you um, look for there? Because people are getting, it's nice to know what sort of chocolate you're going for. I mean, this, this one, as long as it's a good dark chocolate, a good bitter chocolate, it's okay. This one's a good quality, around about 85% cocoa solid, so it's, it's a very good one. Which you can buy from most supermarkets now, so it's not bad. Okay, while that's melting, I'm going to do the biscuit base for the, uh, the truffle. And I'm going to just warm up some butter. Questions or anything? Taking it all in. You always wanted to be a chef, thank like you. No, I wanted to be a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, I think so. As far as I can remember. Yeah. I'll get there one day. <laughs> Right, while the butter's melting, I was going to put some uh, some biscuit, just use digested biscuits, which I've crumbed with earlier, just to save the noise, uh, which I'm going to put into the bowl, which I'm going to add the softened butter to. Uh, the lamb isn't on the menu, but the chocolate truffle is. Is that popular? Especially with the girls? It's very popular. Very popular. Okay, I've melted the butter. And I'm just going to add it to the biscuit base. Right. And stir it in. And then I'm going to press it into, the, into a, a spring form tin. Press it in. Okay, I'll leave that to set a little bit. Put it in the fridge if you can, but it's not essential. Um, then I'm going to start the truffle. I'm just going to give the chocolate a stir, give it a hand. And I'm going to whisk in some cream. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some double cream. So as we said before, it's the low calorie version of this dish, <laughs> isn't it? Some uh, caster sugar. And some whiskey. Just for you then, Chef. No, no, I had mine already. Yeah. And I'm just going to whisk this up until it's three quarters whipped. You have to bear with me now to put some energy into this. Have you noticed I stand away from when you do that? Sorry? Have you notice I stand away from you when you do that? Yes. <laughs> Chef, you say. Yes, I did. Working at Swinford Hall Hotel. So, if you're a pastry chef, you're only allowed to do pastries. <laughs> Work on the section doing all the desserts. And now you're head chef. They can choose. That's it. Delegate. <laughs> Is there something you don't like doing in the kitchen? Cooking. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm quite happy doing everything. When you're a small establishment, what we are, it's 
You can't really. No. What do you think of this great British menu that's on the telly at the moment then? It's quite entertaining to watch. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see what they're doing, but it's quite arrogant some of them, aren't they? Well, I can tell you that um, Will, who's representing the central area from Ludlow, he drives a Ferrari. Right. I've got a watch on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is about there now. It's just three quarters wet, so it's still got a little bit of um, softness to it, so you can mix in nice and easy. The chocolate's now dissolved. Softened. So what I do now is take this off the heat. <laughs> I add a little bit of the cream to start with, just to get it going. And then I fold it in. Like so. Once the first bit's in, a lot more. So we're all going to try this at home then, folks. Now we've seen it, we've got the recipe sheets. There we go, get the rest of the cream in. And where you can you sauce locally, don't you, Dan? It's a big thing with restaurants. It is. Restaurant. We sauce as close as we can. Um, if not in Staffordshire, then um, as close to Staffordshire we can. And if, if not there, then UK. There we go. That's all folded in nicely. Now then, put it into the, uh, the spring form tin. Spread it out. So, that goes into a fridge and we leave to set for around about two hours. Longer if possible, but we can get away with two hours. How long would it keep as well, Dan? Much of interest? Um, this will keep for about five, six days. It's soon um, because it's got a, sh a lot of sugar in the chocolate. And everything it, it's got quite a good life on it so it's not too bad and then we're about to set in the fridge and all being well we should look like this one i'm going to just release it from the, the tin Yesterday, but that serves one to two people, doesn't it? <laughs> On a good day. You don't have to do huge portion um, yeah. sizes. Noticed yesterday, really generous, which is wonderful. So, with that, I'm going to do a little bit of a little bit cream. I'm going to use the same bowl I, I did the cream on already. Just do a little bit more cream. Got some here. Just a little bit, and into that, I'm just going to scrape a little bit of vanilla. I've got a fresh vanilla pod, so I'm just going to loosen up to make it easy to get the vanilla out. And cut it and scrape some seeds out. Like that. Pop them into the cream. Just give this a little white whipping, light whipping. Vanilla pods, aren't they? They so are. I guess when you've done that, would it be okay to put it in some sugar and then you've got vanilla sugar? That's what we tend to do with them. You get um, double the fun from them, really. The vanilla sugar is beautiful as well. Okay, I've just lightly whipped it. And I'm going to put a few raspberries onto this. 
healthy, therefore it's healthy. There you are, fruit, part of you want a day. And then just put a little bit of the clock cream over the top. And there we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, two courses in 20 minutes. Well done, Dan. Thank you very much indeed.